going by myself, which basically sounds like a vacation. I love saving time. Murphy's really hoping I drop something. Easy as pie or easy as a sandwich. Mom jokes. Good morning, MTM fam. Welcome to the vlog today. I cannot believe that it is almost time for back to school. I know a lot of people have already started school. Our kids start in just a few days, which is so crazy. I felt like we were having the longest summer of all time, but I'm still not ready for the kids to go back to school. I love having them here. I love having them home. And it's gonna be a big adjustment after being home for five months together sending them off. I'm doing everything I can to make the transition into school go as easy as possible. So I'm about to do a Sam's Club haul for lunch stuff, snacks, all the things that we need during the school year. And then I'll kind of show you some of the prep that I'm doing to help making their lunches faster and how we run our snacks. I'm heading out to the store. I'm going by myself, which basically sounds like a vacation, even if I have to wear a mask. Let's go to Sam's Club. We have arrived at Sam's Club. I'm all finished at Sam's Club, buckling in, heading home. We got a lot of stuff for snacks. We got a lot of stuff for lunches. I think we're gonna be set for a while. All right, I've got everything in from out of the car and I'm gonna show you, you guys, there is a lot of stuff here. This is definitely the biggest Sam's Club haul I've had in a long time. We have strawberries, we have some chicken, um, we've got some vanilla wafers, granola bars, fruit snacks, Danimals, ham, Greek yogurt, frosted mini meats, Cheerios, Ziploc bags for lunch things, drinks for lunches, fruit leathers. These I thought this would be super handy for the kids to put onto their backpacks. Laundry detergent, Mama. Slim Jims, caramel and cheese popcorn. We've got veggie straws. We've got pretzel crisps, and we've got these delicious protein crisps, I love these. They're barbecue flavored. We also have some rolls for the sandwiches. I've never tried these before. They said they're biscuits, I don't know. We'll see if the kids like those. And then we have goldfish. A lot of this stuff won't go in their lunches. This is a lot of after school snacks. So it's like when Brielle's on the way to dance and she needs something that can be in her backpack all day. I'm gonna prep ham and cheese sandwiches that I can put in the freezer and save so in the mornings when they're packing their lunches, their sandwich is gonna be already ready. And then they can just put in some fruit, some veggies, a couple of other treats, and then they're good. I'll also show you how I prep their snacks. So right now, I'll take a Ziploc bag and I'll put two or three items that are out here into the Ziploc bag. And then I'll have a whole bin that's basically a snack bin. So like when Brielle goes to school and she has dance after school, all she'll have to do is take one of those Ziploc bags out and she has a snack for dance. I do this just maybe four times a year, three times maybe even, and it literally saves me so much time. I always say literally, guys. I'm sorry, I'm gonna work on that, but it really does save me so much time. I just open up a bunch of the things that I'm gonna put into the Ziploc bags and then I grab a Ziploc baggie and then I'll pick like one or two of these things and then one of these things and one of those and you just kind of assembly line it till you get to the end and then you have a little snack bag. So this works really well even if your kids aren't in school. Like if you're running to the park and you need to have snacks or if you're gonna be traveling for a little while and you need to have snacks, I promise this always comes in handy. Just prep what your kid likes. And a lot of times with these, I don't have, like there's not an orange in it right now, but I might put like a little clementine or an apple the day that they take the actual snack bag. But this is just the easy, super grabbable bag that's ready to go when you need it. Look at these already pre-snacked travel bags. This will last us probably a good several weeks. I love saving time. This makes me 
oddly happy, you guys. All right, my friends, we are ready to finally make the sandwiches. We've got our rolls. This is what the ham and cheese sandwich is gonna be on. So we also have the ham and the cheese, and then we have some bread because I'm going to be making some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. For the peanut butter and jelly though, I need my special tool, and it is right here. We're gonna make these little sandwiches like Uncrustables. Two types of sandwiches right now, ham and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, but they'll all get frozen, so when the kids are packing their lunches, they'll just go grab a bag out, their food will be there ready for them to go. Easy as pie, or easy as a sandwich. Mom jokes. So I'm just going to get my rolls out and I'm not gonna put any condiments on this um, because honestly, some of my kids like mayonnaise and mustard, some of them just like mustard and I can't keep it straight. So I'm going to let them decide that themselves. These rolls are kind of small. They're the King's Hawaiian rolls. You can see they're kind of small. So I will make two sandwiches per bag with these rolls. I'm just gonna cut my roll in, woo, I have the hiccups. Cut your roll in half, take out a piece of ham, fold it in half, and then I'm gonna take a half a piece of cheese. I'm actually using this sliced cheese. I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. So it's like you have two little squares, and I'm just gonna put that right in the middle here of the meat, and close it on up, one sandwich down. All the ham and cheese sandwiches are done. Look at that. So the next part is putting them in the Ziploc baggies. Now, as with anything, when you're trying to freeze it, the only thing you need to really remember is to get the air out. So I'm gonna put two sandwiches in a baggie and just suck the air out, and then we'll put all of the bags into the freezer. Ham and cheese sandwiches are done. Murphy's really hoping I drop something. He's just waiting patiently at my feet. Okay, so now we are moving to the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. This one is super easy. You just need two pieces of bread and some peanut butter and some jelly. The only thing that makes this one really fun is you punch it with this Pampered Chef cutter and it makes it look exactly like an Encrustable, only like one fourth the price. All of my Uncrustables are done. They look so perfect. I did a few peanut butter and jelly and then I did, did a few peanut butter and honey as well. I think I have about 20 sandwiches right here. The kids eat school lunch some days, they take lunch from home some days, some days they'll have leftovers and not a sandwich. So I'm hoping these will last about a month. Super excited with the progress we made so far, but now it's the really fun job, you guys. <laughs> Cleaning up, oh. SOS, send help. There you have it, ham and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, and to-go snacks. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back because I'm feeling super good about this. Anytime I do these little extra really mommy-ish things for my kids, makes my heart so happy. We're getting one step closer ready for school. I still cannot believe it. The kids are thrilled to go back to school, but if I'm being honest, I'm gonna miss them. We've had so much time together that it's gonna be really weird to not have them here. We're doing everything we can to make the school year go as smoothly as possible, and I really think this prep will help you guys. If you try this out, let me know. Remember, we're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers, so if you are still watching this video, subscribe, hit the button. I think it's over there, or it's over there. I'm not quite sure. Subscribe, help us get to 200K. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thanks, bye.